money makes the world go round, and that's true in Animal Crossing New Horizons too, unless you're content sleeping in a tent forever. So if you want to make some cash without cheating, we have 10 tips to ensure you keep those bells flowing in. Every day, there will be one specific rock in your town that drops cash instead of minerals each time you hit it, but only for a very limited time after the first hit. To ensure you maximize your reward, try digging three holes or placing three objects in a row parallel to the rock behind you to hold the villager in place as you attack the rock. If you manage to land the maximum of eight hits, you'll be a cool 16,100 bells richer. This trick even works on normal mineral rocks too, and though you won't get money directly, maximizing the amount of hits increases the chances of it dropping a gold nugget, and those can be sold at a high price. If you really want to make some fast cash, consider selling the three to five fossils that you can find each day rather than donating them at the museum, as they might be worth thousands of bells each. Just make sure that you had Blathers identify them first, otherwise the Nooklings will seriously shortchange you. Beyond fossils, you'll also find a variety of things and materials on your island that can be sold for fast cash, including fruit, seashells, items, and materials that fall by shaking trees, and even weeds. Though these aren't worth much, it's still useful in a pinch, especially in the first few days. While you can sell your own island's fruit for 100 bells each, you can sell non-native fruit from other islands for three times as much. So consider stocking up when visiting a friend's island or even planting a few of those you collect to grow more of your own back home. Oh, and if you find a glowing money spot, replanting the bell bag will see a three times return on your investment in just a few days when it regrows into a money tree. Huh, who knew money really can grow on trees? Fishing is a very effective way of getting money, and generally more than bug hunting, if you know which fish are worth the most, especially since the fish can be caught throughout the day and constantly replenish. The barred knife jaw, available March through November, is worth 5,000 bells each, whereas the colacanth, which only appears on rainy days, can be sold for a whopping 15,000 bells. Memorize their shadow sizes so you know which fish to target at a glance. Just keep in mind that some fish are exclusive to particular seasons, time of day, and even bodies of water. And if you're having trouble finding fish, go clamming. Manila clams are incredibly common and can be found all over the beach with a shovel. If you find one, you can use a simple DIY recipe to turn it into fish bait, which will make fish appear wherever you scatter it. While we did just say fishing works a teensy bit faster, you can find rare bugs too that can be sold for a ton, particularly at night. Tarantulas are worth a pretty penny, 8,000 bells to be precise. There's a surefire method to catching them as long as you're willing to be patient. As you approach a tarantula, it'll stand up on its hind legs. As soon as they do, stop in your tracks and wait for them to back down. Then approach slowly and drop your net on them when they aren't standing to catch them with no problem. When CJ or Flick visit your town, take note, they will pay you more for each bug and fish you catch, ensuring that you can pay off bridges or debts quicker. Once they arrive, they will stay around until the day resets, which is 5am, allowing you to keep selling even well after the stores are closed. Once you've exhausted the daily collectibles on your own island, you may want to branch out to other islands to plunder all of their natural resources too. With the Nook Miles tickets purchased at the Nook Stop, you can fly to distant islands where no one lives and gather up different fruit, bamboo, and possibly exotic bugs and fish. Heck, you might even find the occasional fossil too, all of which can be sold back for profit. Every Sunday, Daisy May will head into your New Horizons town to sell you turnips at a flat rate, which you then have a week to sell at Nook's Cranny before they expire. Now, the prices fluctuate every day, sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worse. But here's the thing. The prices vary for other people's islands all over the globe, so try asking your friends or your Twitter followers if their turnip prices are being sold at a high price. Then drop by their island to unload your supply for some major cash. 
If you're short on cash but flush on Nook Miles, there's a fast method to convert one into the other. Simply pick up a Bells ticket from the upgraded resident services building for 500 miles, then sell it at Nook's Cranny to exchange it for 3,000 Bells. It may not be the most efficient use of miles, but it's certainly one of the quicker ways to earn Bells. So there you have it, 10 easy ways to make some fast cash. We hope this helps you on your way to becoming a billionaire. Thanks for watching and make sure to click that subscribe button for tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizons and all things gaming.